Do you know what time it is? It's ramp time! That's right. These gorgeous ramps. Look at how beautiful they are. I went in the woods today and got them. And you know what? Anybody in the Michigan area or maybe other northern states right now, your ramps are ready and they are so beautiful. All you have to do is take a walk in the woods and you dig them up for free. But make sure you don't take out a whole patch because you want these to come back year after year. And also make sure you can really identify a ramp. Uh, I have a video um, about that that will help you. But these are so delicious. So I had read about a state, I think it might have been West Virginia, and they actually have ramp festivals where they make a whole bunch of dishes just with ramps. And I thought, hmm, I think I will have my own ramp festival. So for my husband tonight for dinner, I had a ramp trifecta. Honey, lemon, ramp, roasted chicken. My husband says it's the best chicken he ever had. It was so moist, succulent, and mm, it was just good. That sauce was fantastic on it. And then I made ramp and bacon fried potatoes. I should have used more ramp, though, and next time I will, because the bacon overshadowed it a little bit. Still good, but for me, not rampy enough. And then my final thing was I made ramp drop biscuits. So come along and see the ramp trifecta. Isn't that a beautiful ramp patch? Look at it all. It's really not too far of a walk in the woods near my house. And now I'm going to be harvesting some of them. So here's my bag full of fresh ramps. Can't wait to get them clean and start making supper. Well, there's my batch. I've done the first cleaning. Try to clean off as much dirt as possible. Wash the leaves well. I'm letting them drain a bit. And then I'm going to be cutting off the roots. First, I'm going to separate the ones I need for the recipes today and the rest I'm going to prepare for my dehydrator. Our main course features a recipe from milkandmode.com and it's entitled Roast Chicken with Ramps, Lemon, and Honey. Let's get out our ingredients we'll need for our main course, the roast chicken with ramps, lemon, and honey. We need our chicken. One quarter cup extra virgin oil. Two tablespoons fresh lemon juice. One and one half tablespoons honey. One lemon halved. And it's supposed to be cut in thin rounds. Well, that's as best as I could do. One bunch fresh ramps. And of course, they were just picked this afternoon. Five garlic cloves minced. And we need some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Let's get started. Now it's time to make our kind of liquid rub. We have our two tablespoons of lemon juice there. We have a quarter cup of virgin olive oil. Now we'll do our tablespoon and a half of honey. Looks so good, doesn't it? And I'll put more than a half in. Now, don't be afraid to use your finger. And I'll explain why in just a little bit here. Well, as long as your finger is clean. Okay. Now we need a half more. A little bit more than a half because I didn't quite fill it all the way up for the tablespoon. Taking some squeezing action here. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and again, don't be afraid. Just get it all out. And now you want to take your whisk and you're going to whisk this up. Let's get really good. Just want to mix that honey all into it. Okay, let's see how it's darkening up a little in color. There we go. Yeah, 
that's pretty good. You drain that. Now the reason I said you can get your fingers sticky because we're going to be putting both hands in this and we're going to be massaging this sticky lemon honey oil all over the chicken because this is what's going to make it taste extra special good. Okay, so I decided not to show me massaging the honey lemon oil all over the chicken. You know, it's kind of a private moment between the uh, chicken and myself and who am I kidding? Okay, what I forgot to do was push record and I missed this section of the video. But all I did was get my fingers really gooey and completely massage the sauce all over the chicken, on the undersides, under the wings. Just really massage it well. And then I put the other half of the lemon in one end of the chicken. And I put some salt and pepper on top of the chicken and then on the very top put my lemon slices and now it's ready to go in the 375 degree preheated oven and how long it's in there is going to depend on the size of your chicken uh, and if your chicken was completely thawed out i think mine was still a little frozen in the center so minimum time would probably be 45 minutes to an hour but it could take much longer. You wanna just keep taking a temperature. But for the last 15 minutes, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna up the temperature, and we're gonna add our ramps. Stay tuned. Now you can prepare your ramps while it's happening. You wanna cut off that. And kind of separating, okay. So we're gonna do that with each one. And we're going to make sure they're really clean. I'll be back when I'm ready. The Ramp Drop Biscuits recipe is from theseriouseats.com. For our biscuits, we want about 12 ramps with smaller bulbs. And we are going to take off the ends just like before and slice up the bulbs and then have narrow strips for the leaves. And this is for our drop biscuit. Now we have to take the leaves here. See, I'm going to do two of them at once. And what we want to do is do some narrow strips. Hold it kind of firm there. Then, turn it, and we're just going to cut it sideways like this. I'm not sure my hand's in the way, but because of where the camera is, this is the way I have to do it. But I think you get the idea. Oops. Okay, then you're going to put these in with your sliced bulbs. Now we're making our drop biscuits. In here we have two cups flour, two teaspoons baking powder, a half teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon sugar, and three quarters teaspoon salt. So we've already preheated our oven to 400, but we've now mixed what we need here and we're going to turn it on our mixer in the other room which i'm not going to take the camera into and then we're going to add our butter cut in chunks here and we're going to mix it until the butter is about pea-sized chunks about four minutes and then we're going to add our ramps and then we're going to drizzle in one cup of buttermilk and i just use this buttermilk because I don't usually keep buttermilk on hand so I make it from the powdered. Okay let's get started. So here's what it looks like. Now we're going to make the drop biscuits. So we want about a half a cup. Let me just drop it in. Leave, leave 
least two inches between each one on all sides. So better move this one over here. Over here. And over here. Now we're just going to brush on a little of the buttermilk. Now we're going to bake them for 15 minutes and then we'll rotate the pan and reduce the heat to 350 and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. And Ramp Potatoes recipe is from allrecipes.com and links to all three of these recipes are down below. I've peeled and sliced six medium potatoes. You can see they're in water. I'm going to cover this, bring the water to a boil and then turn it down to medium for about 10 minutes. Be back when it's done. For this recipe, we need six ramps. We're just using the ball bend. Uh, the leaves here, I'll dehydrate so I can use them later. But just like before, we're cutting off the roots, making sure that kind of slimy wrapper is off. And then we're gonna slice them in slices. Be back when that's done. Now our potato slices are coming to a boil. We want to prepare our bacon. So we have five slices of nice bacon cooking in our pan. And we're going to continue cooking until they're done. Our bacon is nice and crisp. We're going to let it drain and we're going to keep that bacon fat in that fry pan because we need it for the potatoes. Now we left our bacon drippings in there but it isn't enough so I'm adding some of my own saved bacon dripping here. We want about two tablespoons Pretty good. If we need more, we can add it. Let's just let this melt. And then we're going to add our drained potato slices. We want this on pretty high heat in our potato slices. I'm going to try not to make a mess like I just did. Now we're going to be frying these up until they're golden brown. And that can take about 15 minutes. While our potatoes are cooking on the stove top, it's time to prepare the ramps for the chicken. And we're going to just take our bunch of ramps, prepare it like I said before. You're going to be cutting slices of the bulb and just tearing off pieces of the leaves. So I've washed the leaves again and now I've torn them into medium pieces. And then I sliced up the bulbs. And just make sure that you get that oh like oniony wrap it off it because that's kind of slimy and you don't need that. So you want to make sure you pull it off all the bulbs first. So we've added our ramp cut up leaves, our actual ramp cut up bulbs, and our garlic. And now we're going to put it back in the oven we're going to increase the temperature to 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I've added the bacon bits and the ramp bulbs. Potatoes had cooked for maybe about 12 minutes. Now we're going to want to cook this about another maybe 5-6 minutes until the ramp bulbs get tender. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper while it's cooking. Let it continue to cook. So the potatoes are done. I think it's now time to dish up our dinner. So here's our chicken. It's at 165 degrees. So now it's time to dish up everything. So here's it dished up. We have a half a biscuit here and the potatoes which look so good. And then we want to take a little of our sauce from the pan and just dribble that over a little. 
Now it's ready for the taste test. So here's my plate. Let's have a little of that chicken first. Greens. Mmm. It melts in your mouth and that lemony tang. Maybe just a little of the ramps coming through. Very good. Try a little potatoes here. Get a little bacon with that. Well, it's gotta be good when it's got ramps and bacon on it, right? bite of biscuit. Mmm, so good. Here's to celebrating ramps. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, go out in the woods, find some ramps, and make some delicious dishes. As always, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video. <music>